This is GMA. Parenting alert. Could you be a victim of a virtual kidnapper? A new scam preying on parents. Mom, you've got to help me. You've got to do what they say. And threatening your children. How you could be making it easier than ever to end up a victim. Coming up, that warning about something called virtual kidnapping and how your social media accounts could put you at risk. But first, that alert about a cyber threat called virtual kidnapping. Criminals claiming they've kidnapped your kids and demanding money. ABC's Abby Boudreau has one mom's frightening story. This is the voice of a man who calls himself a professional kidnapper. Are you in your car? Yes. I yeah, honk your horn. I want to listen to your horn. He says he's kidnapped this woman's daughter, and he wants only one thing. You know what kidnappers want. They want money. Judy asked us to hide her identity to protect her family. She says a man called her cell phone, first claiming he had her daughter. You thought you heard your daughter's yes. voice. She just kept saying, Mom, you've got to help me. You've got to do what they say. They're going to hurt me. I'm, you know, I... I'm scared. I need your help. Then he gave Judy only 60 seconds to get in her car and drive to the bank. 30, 31, 32. It's a terrifying scam called virtual kidnapping. I heard my daughter crying. He, he says, you, you want me to cut off her fingers and send them to you? Judy ran to her neighbor's house for help. Her legs were shaken. Her hands were shaken. She, oh, I knew she was completely out of control. But Cheryl convinced Judy to hang up and call 911. And the so-called kidnapper never called back. None of her daughters had been kidnapped. It was very, very cruel. And, I mean, it was, what, two and a half hours? The FBI says virtual kidnapping is on the rise. And social media is making it easier than ever for criminals to know personal information about their victims. It's fairly easy today because of social media to figure out where people live. It's not difficult to figure out their phone numbers. Judy says while she knows it was all just a hoax, she's still recovering. It was so real to you. I can't look back and, and laugh. It wasn't a joke. It was real. For Good Morning America, Abby Boudreau, ABC News, Sacramento, California. Oh, so chilling. Mm. Joining us now is cybersecurity expert Tyler Cohen Wood. We were riveted watching that piece of a video by Abby. When you are looking at the ways, what are some of the ways and more of the ways that these virtual kidnappers are using social media to gain information about their victims? So what they're doing is they're going through social media and they're trying to build a pattern of life on you, your family, and your children and where your loved ones are going to be at a certain period of time. And sometimes I think we don't realize just how much information we give away about ourselves on social media. Can you give us an example of that? Sure. A good example is um, you say, uh, my daughter goes to dance class at this place every Saturday and you take photographs of her every Saturday at that dance class. Well, that gives a target fodder for going after that child. And, and this can be tough to investigate sometimes because so many of the scams originate overseas. Yeah. And that is one of the biggest problems because if some of the scams are happening in a country that will not work with the United States, well, the money is potentially lost that you've wired over. And so if you are a victim and that person's on the phone, you keep them on the phone, you record it, what do you do? So give us some tips what we should do. So what you want to do is the first thing you do is even though they say don't call law enforcement, you want to call law enforcement, you want to try to use another device to reach out to your loved ones. and. It's also extremely important that you take notes, you try to get the IP address of the person who is threatening you, and you also ask questions such as, um, can I talk to my loved one? And oftentimes, when you get these phone calls, it's going to come from a number that is not a number that you recognize. Okay, Tyler Cohen, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.